Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I am here to do a little bit of a controversial video. Yes, today I am here to do my very first unhaul. Yeah, it's about time I get rid of some of these books, guys. I took a look at my TBR shelves and, well, my bookshelves in general at the beginning of the month I'm making. Yeah, I have way too many books. I'm running out of space, so I need to do an unhaul. So that's what I'm here to do today. And I have a total of 12 books to get rid of. And by the time that you guys see this video, these will have already been chipped off to my local thrift store or given to family and friends. So I apologize, I cannot send these books to you guys. Plus, the shipping rates here in the U.S. are a little ridiculous at this point. So I wouldn't have the money anyways. But I promise in the new year I will be doing some giveaways. So be on the lookout for those. But without further ado, let's just jump right in and get started. So the first book is The Tiny Manipulator's Son by Roni Singh. When I first started my blog last April, I got a DM from the author on Twitter asking me if I wanted to review this book. And I said yes because, you know, I was just starting off my blog. I didn't know what I was doing. So I bought this off of Amazon and... You know, it's been over a year, it's been almost two years, believe it or not, and I, you know, recently read the synopsis and I'm thinking, I'm not really in the mood for sci-fi, I'm not in the mood for middle grey at this point, so, yeah, this is gonna go. The next book I have to talk about is Scan by Walter Jury and Sarah Fine. Again, I'm not really in the mood for sci-fi right now, but it's got a really cool cover. I can always get these from my library if I ever do decide to pick them up, so, goodbye. The next one I actually have to get for school, and that is A Midwife's Tale, and this is by Laurel Thatcher Ulrich. I had to read this my very first semester of college, and that was almost three years ago, so I don't need this anymore. The next one is Artemis Fowl by Elon Colfer. I actually have another copy of this, and I have read books by this author before. I do really enjoy his writing style, but again, I have another copy of it, so I'll just use that if I ever decide to pick it up. The next one is King's Blood, and this is by Jill Williamson. This was one I got sent to for review by the publisher, and I did not know it was a sequel at the time. You do have to read the first book before reading this. You can't just dive right into this volume without reading the first one. And I don't really have any interest in picking up the first one at this point, so goodbye. The next one is Children of Eden by Joey Graceffa. This is just a second copy I have. I have read this book. I really, really enjoyed it. I read it back in May, and I do, again, have a second copy. And whoever gets this book is going to be very lucky, because it's actually signed. So, yeah, don't need a second copy of it, like I said. The next one I have to get rid of is Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. I read this last year. I DNF'd it, so don't need it on my shelves anymore. Next one is actually an ARC, so hopefully my thrift store will... <laughs> accept these and this is The Infinity of You and Me by J.Q. Coyle. I read this back last November I want to say. I did really enjoy it at the time but I don't see myself ever rereading it and if I ever do want to reread it I can just pick up a finished copy at like Barnes and Noble or my library. The next one is Invitation by Bill Myers, Frank Pariti, Angela Hunt, and Alton Gansky. This is a collection of short stories and it's I believe it's like it's, yeah it's a psychological thriller um, I liked it, but it's not my favorite thing in the world, so goodbye. The next one is going to be a little bit controversial because everybody loves this author and this book, and that is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. I read this back in June, and I hated it. It is actually an understatement. I really did not like this book. So, goodbye. The next book is another more recent read, and that is An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. I read this in... October, I believe, and I liked it, but it's way too similar to A Court of Thorns and Roses because it's Faye, and I, as much as I love Faye, this was way too similar to Akatar. It had way too many tropes in it that I don't like and still love. Oh my gosh, there were so many problems with this book, so goodbye. The next one I have is The Marriage Game by Alison Weir. I'm just going to end up giving this to my mom. She loves anything to do with Queen Elizabeth, so... That stuff doesn't really interest me at this point, so this is going to go. And the last book I am unhauling is one that I'm also giving to one of my parents, and that is Hazardous Duty by W.E.B. Griffin and William E. Butterworth IV. This is a war novel. That stuff doesn't interest me. I'm just going to give this to my dad. He does like that kind of stuff. So don't need this on my shelves. 
And that is all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I'll be sure to have all my social media links linked down below in the description box. If you guys are interested in following me on Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, or my blog, those will all be linked down below. And with all that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!